Hey guys, are you bored with your old Android version? Want the cool new Android 15 features like smoother performance and clean UI without using a PC? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to easily install Android 15 on any compatible Android phone without a PC, without TWRP and even without root access using the simple GSI method. It's super beginner friendly with clear steps to upgrade your phone fast. Let's make your device feel brand new. But before we start, a quick disclaimer, please watch the full video first before trying this on your phone. If you miss a step, you could brick your device. So follow along carefully. This method will wipe all your data, so back up everything important. Also, your phone's bootloader must be unlocked. If you don't know how, check out our linked guide in the description. Finally, read the detailed disclaimer and warnings in the description below for extra safety. For this video, I'm using a Poco F4 running Android 14 with HyperOS. And yes, we're about to replace all of that with an Android 15 custom ROM. Now let me quickly show you if my device is rooted or not. As you can see, my phone is not rooted and that's totally fine because installing a GSI or custom ROM does not require root access. The first step in installing Android 15 is to enable developer options on your phone. To do this, go to settings, then scroll down and tap on about phone. Here, tap on build number or HyperOS version on Redmi or Poco phones seven times until you see developer options is enabled. Once that's done, go back and open developer options. Here, as you can see, my bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure yours is unlocked too. Next, scroll down and enable USB debugging. This step is essential for flashing the Android 15 using another phone. Alright, the next step is downloading the Android 15 ROM. To do this, first download and install the Treble Info app. I have added the link in the description. Open the Treble Info app and tap on Browse Images. Here, scroll down to the section for unofficial Android 15 custom ROM. I recommend going with the unofficial builds because they usually include more features and better stability compared to the official ones. You can choose any Android 15 ROM you like AOSP, Lineage OS, or Evolution X. The installation process is the same for all of them. Also, make sure you download a ROM that has gaps included. That means basic Google apps like Play Store and Gmail will already be pre-installed. Now I'll cancel the download because I already have the same ROM file saved on my phone. Here it is, the Android 15 ROM file. Along with this, you'll also need to download your device firmware because from that we'll grab the VB meta file required for flashing. To get it, just Google your phone's build number and download the matching firmware for your exact device. Once you have the firmware, extract it and you'll find the VB meta file inside. Now move both the Android 15 ROM file and the VB meta file to the second phone that we'll use for flashing. Alright, I'll be using my Pixel 6a as the host phone, but you can use any Android device for this role. First, download and install the Bugjigger app on the host phone. This app basically acts like a mini PC. It lets you flash custom ROMs or even root your Android device without needing a computer. Next, you'll need an OTG cable to connect the two phones. This allows the host phone to send commands to the target phone. As soon as you connect the phones, you'll see a USB debugging permission pop up on your main device. Simply tap allow to grant access. And there we go. My phone is now successfully connected in Bugjigger. As you can see, it shows Munch, which is the code name for this Poco phone. Now tap on reboot bootloader button and your device will restart and boot into bootloader mode. Let's wait a moment until it loads. Alright, the phone is now in fast boot mode. Next, click on this button to open the console. To confirm that the device is detected, type the command fast boot devices. And yes, if you see a serial number, that means your device is successfully connected. First, run this command to check your current active slot. Here it shows A, which means the phone is currently running on slot A. If it showed B, that would mean the phone is running on slot B instead. Next, run this to check if your device supports two slots or a single slot. As you can see, it shows slot count 2, 
That means this device uses A slash B slots, which is important for flashing the ROM correctly. Now, if the previous commands gave you a get var variable not found error, that simply means your device is single slot. Nothing to worry about. Just keep that in mind. Next, it's time to boot into Fastboot D mode. But not all devices support Fastboot D. So after running the command, if your phone just reboots back into the system, it means your device doesn't support Fastboot D. In that case, you can continue flashing everything in normal Fastboot mode. Since my device supports Fastboot D, it booted straight into it automatically. After entering Fastboot D, the phone may disconnect. So make sure to connect it again in Bugjigar. Next, erase the system partition. So run this command, fastboot erase system. If that gives you an error, then use this command instead, fastboot delete logical partition product underscore and your current slot. For example, my current slot is A, so I use product underscore A. If your slot is B, then use product underscore B instead. Once that's done, it's time to flash the Android 15 ROM. So run this command, fastboot flash system and select the ROM image file. But first we need to extract the ROM file. Just open the file and tap on it once. Zarchiver will automatically start extracting it for you. Once done, you will see image file inside extracted ROM folder. Just go to Bugjigger app and select the image file. Let me quickly select it here. Keep in mind, the ROM file is large, so it may take some time to load. Just be patient and don't disconnect your device. Once the ROM file is selected, simply run it to start installing the Android 15 ROM on your device. And there we go, the flashing has started. Since my current slot is B, the ROM is being installed directly into slot B. The installation may take around 5 to 6 minutes, so just wait patiently and don't disconnect anything. Alright, the ROM has been fully flashed and as you can see, it shows finished. Now the next step is to run this command, fastboot-w. This will format all the data on your device, giving you a clean installation of the gaming ROM. In my case, this command gave me an error. If the same happens to you, don't worry. Instead, just run these two commands one after the other. Fastboot erase user data and then fastboot erase metadata. Now, if you are in fastboot D mode, run this command to boot into formal fastboot mode. And now it's time to flash the VB meta file with verification disabled. This step makes sure your phone won't run into verification errors when booting the custom ROM. Once VB meta is flashed, go ahead and reboot your device by fast boot reboot. Your phone will now restart and the first boot might take a little longer than usual. Totally normal. Let me fast forward that for you. And yes, the device has successfully booted into Android 15. Let me quickly set it up and I'll fast forward to keep it short. And there we go. We are now running the Android 15 custom ROM. Let's jump into settings just to confirm everything. As you can see, we're now on Android 15 and the security patch is up to date as of April 2025. So enjoy the new features, smoother performance and all the improvements of Android 15 on your phone. But since this is a GSI build, features like calling and 5G don't work by default. So please check out my other video starting at 826. I've linked it in the description. That video will guide you on how to fix those issues. So that's how you can install Android 15 on almost any Android phone. No PC needed, no TWRP required and even without root. If this step-by-step -step guide helped you, don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.